Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Sladish Eagle, of course, and uh, welcome back to another Q&A video where I answer your weird, interesting, funny, or crazy questions from Facebook. <laughs> where the hell did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> First question. Uh, Isaac, oh, I'm gonna butcher your name, F Ficken Kalhol. Kalf Holm. I don't know. It might be Swedish or something. I don't know. It's a weird last name you got though, bro. <laughs> Anders or Ander. Anders or Anders. <laughs> Have you ever played World of Warcraft or League of Legends? Love from Sverige. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's Swedish. <laughs> God damn, I should have read the thing before I guessed. Uh, at least I guessed good though. Uh, yes, I've played uh, both League of Legends and World of Warcraft actually. Uh, but honestly, they're not really my kind of a game. Uh, personally, I prefer FPS games and uh, R RTS, real-time strategy, and RPGs. I'm not a big MMO fan actually. Never really been, or MOBA. I think it's MOBA like League of Legends is MOBA, right? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I suck at this sometimes. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, sadly. It's it's just simply how I am, I guess. It's, it's not my kind of a thing. It's not my kind of a groove, so to say. Uh, but uh, I do understand there's a good, those are good games, so don't get me wrong here. It uh, doesn't mean just because I don't like a game doesn't mean the game is bad. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, next question. Uh, Chris Gove, you versus Robas, who wins one on one hood fight, no weapons allowed? Uh, Robas would win because I would not fight Robas. Uh, Robas is way too funny to be hurt in any way. Uh, his brain is just perfectly damaged, like it is, so he makes funny ass commentary videos. So I would not, uh, I would not want to break him. But of course, if it was anyone else, uh, I would break their every bone in their body probably. <laughs> Just by sitting on top of them. <laughs> but I would not fight Robus. I I refuse. <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, Cat Burns. Uh, what would you do if all electronics suddenly stopped working and would never turn on again? Ah! <laughs> you, your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work, Anders. Smiley face. Thank you. Um, oh, God. I, my first thought was kill myself. <laughs> my second thought, get a girlfriend and a, a real job. Or real job. This is a fucking real job. I've never worked as hard in my life as with YouTube, but like a normal job, so to say, that doesn't have to do with electronics. Maybe get back to plumbing or something like that? I mean, like, I have also electronics uh, education as well so like I, I do know a lot of about electricity and voltage and ohms and resistance and that kind of stuff so uh, maybe try to fix it as well I don't know I mean that's a fucking horrible you're you're one satanic girl how could you even think of such a horrible thing like all electronics stop working my god you're a girl you must know this that if the all electronics stops you know the electric electric uh, whipper wh whipped cream maker you know you know what I, i'm talking about that would like stop working as well like imagine that that would be horrible <laughs> uh, next question uh C Kathleen R rutherford oh man i'm so sorry weirdest place you woke up question mark i'm sorry but i'm kind of boring when it comes to that because like I never pass out really when I'm drunk, I only fall asleep when I'm drunk, like if I really want to fall asleep, and I guess the weirdest place is um, my friend's, uh, like, outside my friend's door, because I was too lazy to go home and he f fell asleep and didn't, like, answer his phones, I had slept outside his door <laughs> of his apartment once, that's about it, I'm sorry, it's not more exciting than that. Uh, next question, Jury, Jury Hataya, oh I'm so sorry for butchering your name as well, do you think that PC gaming is expensive, at least compared to console gaming? Question mark. My P gaming PC costs about 900 euros with OS and still a medium end gaming PC. Um, the thing is you gotta think about it in like this way, because like 
my PC, I would say, is just about high end. I think you like if you compare yourself to all other PCs, there are PCs out there that cost literally like twenty thousand euros. Like there's some sick ass PCs out there. Uh, Nine hundred euros is actually quite a lot. You can get a really good gaming PC that can run like all the newest games. Maybe not on high, but on low or medium, uh, for like. 500 euros easily if you build it yourself so I would not say it is expensive not any longer that w that might have been the case like a couple of years ago but right now PC gaming I would say is actually quite cheap especially if you think about all the all the sales on Steam and that kind of stuff you get games for so much cheaper than on consoles so like imagine yourself you buy an Xbox one or a PlayStation 4 how many games do you want for that do you want Two games? You want ten games? Twenty games? If you're one of those that say you want more than ten games, you're better off buying a PC. Because you get more games for the money, and you get more enjoyment out of your money. Simply because, like I said, a PC can cost just as much as a console, and still be just as good as a console. And if you put in a little bit more money, you're gonna get a PC that's better than a console. And you're still gonna be able to play all the newest games, but you can buy them really cheap on PC. So I would definitely say PC gaming is starting to get really cheap right now. I would recommend anybody who who like wanna play a lot of games and not just a couple, but like 10, 20, 30, 40 games, buy a PC because all games are freaking cheaper on PC, like literally. Uh, next question, uh, Nim Dai. Hi Anders, this is the first time I posted a Q&A for three years. Oh damn, you've been following me since the beginning? Son of a bitch! What is your opinion on big gaming companies pushing, pushing the games studios to release their titles early? Question mark. We had tons of crappy releases. Uh, Rome 2, Battlefield 4, yeah, hell yes, brother, I hear you. This year, I'm really worried about the future of the gaming industry. Love your videos and stay awesome! Uh, exclamation mark! <laughs> uh, uh, sadly, you have a really good point there, Min. Uh, I, Rome 2, pff, such a fucking disappointment. I mean, like, that's that's the biggest disappointment of the year. Battlefield 4, a huge disappointment. I mean, like, the game has awesome features. Like, like it, you can really see there's a lot of love put into the game. But it's obviously not finished for shit. Like, I, I don't know what it is, like... If they don't have enough money, so they can't test the games too much uh, enough or whatever it is. But I, I'm also worried. I mean, like I personally always used to like pre-order these kinds of games, like Battlefield 4 and Rome 2. I won't be doing that any longer. I, I will, I will definitely like be more careful nowadays because I've now been disappointed by two of the like greatest gaming developers that I personally know, like Rome. All the Rome or all, all the Total War games, I've loved them all, like lo super much, especially Rome and Medieval Total War and also Empire Total War. I love those games. I uh, think Shogun and Shogun 2 are good games. But personally, it, it doesn't fit my style, so to say, to be honest. Uh, Medieval 2, a little bit disappointing. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it wasn't bad in any way at all. Rome 2 was just a fucking disappointment, man. Less countries to play, less units to build, like, less buildings, less everything. Like, oh man, just made me a sad face panda. God damn. <laughs> Next question. Um... Juller Ju Person, what do you enjoy most about making YouTube videos, Anders? Uh, definitely the gaming part, because editing and the rendering and that kind of stuff is super boring. Uh, definitely gaming and uh, basically like recording the, the gameplay footage, so to say, unless if it's something really boring as well. Sometimes that can be boring too, but just playing the games and uh, seeing people's responses or or reactions to my videos, especially like those who are like funny ones and that kind of stuff. I love that. Love to read the comments that says like, "Anish, the video is awesome. I love this part where you did that." I'm like, "Yes, I nailed it. I know that." And so, yeah, pr pretty pretty happy about that kind of stuff. Next question, uh, Rebecca Peltzer. Hey, Anders, if you could be a video game character of any game you like, would who would you be? A male 
and a female one. <laughs> Keep the great work and greetings from Germany. Hmm. So I need to pick a male and a female one. Oh god. I hardly know any female ones. I know uh, Sam from... Uh, oh god, what's it called? Oh, Metroid. I know Princess Peach. Uh, Tomb Raider. Like Laura Croft, that is. Oh god, who else do I know? Oh man, I suck at this. I'm so horrible at this. <laughs> I would probably be like... Maybe Gerald uh, from The Witcher. <laughs> He gets to have a lot of sexy time. <laughs> and slay monsters. And he got cool scars. And like, he looks badass, basically. Everyone fears him. He's an awesome dude. Or maybe someone else. I don't know right now. That's that's just from the top of my head. Female character. I guess a Sam, a Sam, a Samus. Or Sam. Or whatever you call her. From... From... Um, Oh god, now I forget again. Metroid, uh, for god's sakes. I forget about it again, like a fucking idiot. Uh, probably her, uh, because she seems to be a very strong character, like kind of silent protagonist, like just kick ass and like do her job, kind of like a female Rambo almost. So yeah, yeah, I think those are my answers. Next question. Uh, Lenny Åbrod, tycker du inte själv att du missar massa med spel när du inte lirar konsol? Uh, smiley face. Några av de bästa spelen som har gjorts är ju till Playstation. Uh, så som uh, The Last of Us, Uncharted, Metal Gear Solid uh, spelen bland annat. Uh, don't you think you're, you're uh, missing a lot of great games on console? Some of the best games that have been made uh, is on Playstation. Uh, like The Last of Us, Uncharted and Metal Gear Solid games and more uh, actually no i mean it sucks that i missed some cool games but honestly there's been more awesome releases on pc that isn't on console like half-life uh, okay counter-strike is on console now but i mean like it's not really con counter-strike on console to be honest uh, team fortress 2 i mean like tons of indie games day said like arma like i mean like there are literally hundreds of unique titles on PC, whilst there might be like 10 or 20 that are even worth mentioning on console. So, and that's like Xbox and PlayStation combined. So, like even there, like we get a lot more unique games for for like our platform than consoles do. So, I'm definitely I'm definitely jealous when it comes to like big games like GTA 5. Uh, and Red Dead Redemption from like Rockstar, but the other games I honestly don't really give a shit about. <laughs> uh, those are not games that really interest me personally. Next question, uh, Alex uh, uh, Valheim. She another söt bror. That means hello there, sweet brother. He's not my brother, by the way. <laughs> I guess that's just a nice way of saying hi for him. Uh, if you could choose two maps, one from Battlefield Bad Company 2 and one from Battlefield 3, uh, to have them remade and put into Battlefield 4, who would you choose and why? For Battlefield 3, easy. Uh, Devon Peak, definitely. I would love to see Devon Peak in Battlefield 4. I would love that. I freaking love that map. It's so fucking nice. Uh, for Bad Company 2? Hmm. Maybe a map like Harvest Day or something like that? I'm not sure though. There's so many damn good maps for Bad Company 2. Like, I personally love to play Rush. I don't play that much con uh, uh, Conquest, even though Conquest is like the big, big thing for Battlefield. I personally play more Rush because there's more infantry battles. And Battlefield Bad Company 2 was basically made for Rush, so like all of the maps are like really damn good at Rush. Like, I honestly can't think of any map I didn't like. Uh, oh god, like Harbor, what, what else do you have? Like the snow maps, there's so many, I, I can't actually give you a good answer. There's so many damn good maps for, for Rush when it comes to Bad Company 2. Fucking love those maps. Uh, like. That was the Battlefield game that got me back to and interested in Battlefield, actually. And next question. Megan who, uh, who, who, Hurricane, I'm just gonna call her. I think I recognize her. She, Yeah, she always posts like weird shit. And she has again, I see. What would you do if a koala mauled you? Question mark. I think she's from Australia. I would punch that fucking koala in the face. That's what I would do. <laughs> 
I would punch it good. <laughs> God, I'm cool. I'm fucking mauling me. Mauling, by the way, is like uh, scratching and clawing and biting and stuff like that animal can do. Animals can do, just so you guys know. Uh, last question, I think. Sydney Vanoy, what is your favorite thing about girls? Oh man, that is a hard question. I mean, like, there's so many awesome things about girls, but... The thing that comes to, to... I'm just gonna say what comes to the top of my mind, like... Just sleeping next to a girl, like, I'm not talking sexy time now, guys, like... If you're a teenager, and you're like 15, 16, somewhere around there, or, or younger, and you haven't had the sexy time yet... I mean, that is nice, but... Just to have a girl you actually like, and sleep next to her, is something that gives you... Oh, it, I, I don't know a good word for it in English, but gives you such such a ru uh, in in like your mind, so you sleep so damn well, like a freaking baby. So I would say sleeping next to a girl you you really like. That's the best thing about girls. <laughs> other th other than that, there's tons of good stuff: boobs, uh, uh, butts, how they look, how they smell, how they act, how they treat you, like. Tons of different stuff, but that that's like my favorite thing, I guess. And uh, that's the last question. So, as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.